Hey there, this is Evan from 4C Bricks. Today I'm going to be going over this Arctic Transporter. It's really a helicopter with four rotor blades. So this is all the stuff you get in the set. You get the two minifigures, the other one, the pilot figure is in there. We'll show you those closer later. And you have these two smaller bills. I will also show you those later. Oops. So this is the, uh, the main build of the set the quadcopter. Yeah, I mean you have these four rotor blades. They use this um, Technic. I believe they use that as a sword before. Those blade pieces, but yeah. And back here you have some adjustable fins. Those are stickers. You get four of them there. There's one more up on the cockpit. I'll show you that later. You have these um, kind of slow pieces. But I wish they had put a few more, um, bring that closer, like right there to finish that off, maybe a tile piece or whatever. Uh, a funny thing you can do with this is these are um, the tighter kind of pin pieces, so you can kind of tilt it back and it'll stay there like it's lifting off. You have some lights there, let me show that earlier. Green on the side, red on the side, so yeah. Down here, you have some uh, stickering right there, and they kind of follow it through with those dark azure plates. That is also a sticker. You see that? There we go. Um, those are those kind of those dark blue assemblies are supposed to be lights. There's one on either side. But yeah, the. Uh, action feature, the main action feature of this set is a winch. You can see the knob up here. So if you hold it, just turn it, and it lets the, uh, let's see, just turn it, lets the uh, hook down, and that is intended to hook onto this. And they can, you know, transport that away, but we'll look at that build closer later. Now I want to focus on the cockpit. Let me just reel this in real quick. The cockpit has a sticker right there. Um, yeah, I mean, we've seen this this uh, piece before. Down. There we go. Um, so it just, it just comes off one big piece. And there's a room for a single figure. There's just a printed console. We've seen that. The black one before. Yeah. But yeah, that that that's it. I mean there's that bar piece. Oops. There's that bar piece for her um her back. But yeah, I feel like they could have put a little more detail into the cockpit area. I mean there's room for some control sticks. Oops, looks like that. That winch is getting a little messy back there, but yeah, I mean, that's that's it for the cockpit. There's the winch mechanism you can see, but it only takes up like a 3x4 area. I don't, I wish I could have put it like a divider or a wall there, at least a wall windows, because that's pretty ugly. Now, the one, the one big problem with this set and that is back here okay this this uh, back area okay they they used this much for the winch system they have the cockpit but there's nothing back here and they did not give you a way to get back there and that's what this video is for I am going to show you a super easy way to get back there and I'm just going to remove these two for easier access okay so what's holding this piece on are these. So I want to take those off. But we will use them again. You'll have the almost the exact shape of the thing later. Just remove these two pieces. Okay? And that will be our removable section. Now, before I go any further, I'm just gonna show you the six or seven parts that that's all you're gonna need, okay? Two of these, um, these 1x4 tiles, 
preferably gray just to match, match the color scheme then these one by two just just any type of tile has to be smooth and these two of these two of these one by two jump board pieces and then just one one by two or one by four excuse me this can be gray or any of these can be orange if you happen to have them now you have this space and some of these pieces are going to go there so we have to remove these but we are going to use them later okay just quickly remove those and then you can just add these oops right there Maybe closer look there we go right there where this piece used to be and these jumper pieces so that it holds on the uh, the lid tightly then these couple pieces can go up here just to make it so that these aren't hanging in midair then you're gonna get this piece well you have to retrieve your uh, one by two you're gonna get four of those just put those four studs apart from each other and just I was saying earlier about the they feel like it was unfinished and if you have just a couple of these in the previous set I reviewed it included these so if you if you happen to get that set you can do that with these then on this part you just take the other two and put them four sides apart from each other again that's where this piece comes in you can just add that across there then you take these gray pieces and they just go right over it. They're not attached to any studs here, but it still, I think, fits in with the, the overall theme of things. It's like that, and then you just put that piece right on there, and that is your lid. Now, for putting it on, it just goes on like before. See, it's only attached here and here. So you comes off pretty easy. And why we had to move these pieces back one stud is so that these don't hit it. They hit it a lot before. Sometimes because they wobble and they hit it, but if you press the pieces together hard enough, they shouldn't be a problem. We can just slip our other ones back on and I believe it still can come off. I mean the uh the lid, you just have to get these these pieces just right. Oops, that's not good. This propeller flew off, and then, and you can fit at least a couple minifigs, maybe maybe two, maybe three. But yeah, not standing up. But yep, that's just a super super easy way to repair that. Here we've got that small sub build, um, the Sabertooth Tiger Ice Cube. I think it's an ice cube. Yeah, I mean it's it's really simple. It's just those big window pieces for the, the the side, the rock rock piece. And I'll actually show you a fun thing you can do with this. Uh, you can like put your finger back and and just push the tiger out. Just like that. I don't know, it's it's not really anything. This is actually light blue. If you compare that to a, a dark blue or a, a regular blue one by one cheese slope clear stud, then yeah, it's nice to get those. You get at least five of those including the spare. Because you have some you have some down there. But yeah. So that just breaks off and the tiger can slide out and yeah I mean you can have your uh, your other explorer stand on there or whatever break this off but yeah it's a it's just super simple build now on to the tiger piece so it's a very very ex excellently pr 
produced piece. I'm sure some people will get some some ones that aren't, aren't that good, but mine turned out to be good. The one, one tiny flaw is that if you zoom in real close on his mouth, you can see a little bit of that white plastic for his teeth going on to his chin. It's not, not very noticeable. But actually, that is dual molding, I believe. That is, that is white fangs. Those are dual molding, printed eyes. But yeah, I mean, a great, great piece. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that this piece and this piece are the same that they used in the Jungle Explorers, and they just switched out the head. It's pretty cool. But look at the, uh, the detail on his claws. I mean, the, it's just so satisfying to look at. You can see those uh, claws. I mean, three of them connect and you can articulate in two ways. And roaring up like that if you want to come to live or make up your own story or whatever. So right here we have our little ATV, our Arctic four-wheeler. Just can fit one person. I have a little print there. I believe that comes in each of the Arctic sets. Some studs on the side billing there for the front grill piece. It uses the somewhat newer type of tire pieces so it it rolls around quite easily and on the back you have some racks uh, well a rack for tools, the circular saw and some ice picks. I believe those are a little bit newer for 2019. Now just an idea they don't suggest this on the box or in the instructions, but if you take the figure out, you can put the piece from the ice cube on the seat and then just bring your helicopter down and ta-da! So here are the two minifigures that are included in this set, the helicopter driver and the explorer. The helicopter, um, well, actually both of them, get the same pants, which is pretty cool. It's pretty um, generic. I mean, you can can use it for more than just Arctic. But yeah, the uh, I, I believe we've gotten that same print for the um, pilot in the Jungle Explorers. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, there's a little bit of metallic print on the explorer's um yeah on his belt buckle there this it's pretty pretty amazing print you got the rope and the little bit of overalls coming up it's a little bit less um opaque than would be nice but yeah also got the yellow harnesses and yeah even have the hoodie coming to the back and more of the rope there. I just, yeah, so good, good minifigures overall. It's really nice to get this helmet in, well, both of these helmet in medium azure and those hands in medium azure. Hope you enjoyed that review. Hopefully you can do that little modification to make this set better. And just a quick sneak peek on the set that we're doing tomorrow. Woo! You've seen a little bit of it on the speed builds, but I hope you enjoy that tomorrow. See you next time.